Like I went into Costco. I, this, there's some stuff in there that shouldn't exist. I bought six shelf stable soups. You know what you have to do to a soup to make it shelf stable? It's warm meat and vegetables. It's like a bacteria's wet dream. I don't want to know what kind of fucking polycarbonate isomers they had to put in the soup in order to make it shelf stable. It's not in a can. It's in like a, it's in a microwave safe plastic tub. The shit is made of fucking plutonium. I guarantee it. I'm telling you straight up, I, I don't expect the soup to be good. What I do expect it to do is be ready three and a half minutes after I finish my stream and provide me with some vitamins uh, and some calories so that I can get through the afternoon. Bro's eating the three billion calorie soup. That's a plutonium joke, but I do have to say, if I have one complaint about the soup, it's a joke at this point, but it's also true. The fucking soup is like 210 calories per bowl. That's not enough, man. I gotta, I gotta have like the soup and a McDouble on the side to, to hit my macros. Even if you're eating 2,000 calories a day, I would consider on the low side, depending on your level of activity, 200 calories, that buys you like two hours, bro. It might, in fact, because you're only awake like 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day, it might even buy you like an hour and a half. You're taking 30 minutes to eat a bowl of soup that's only lasting you an hour after you finish eating it? It doesn't make any sense, man. Who takes 30 minutes to eat soup? The shit is hot, bro. I don't want to burn the roof of my mouth. And then it's like, oh, it hurts when I burn the roof of my mouth. And then I wake up the next day and then I got like a canker sore. And I'm like, why do I have a canker sore? And it's like, oh, right, because I burn the roof of my mouth. Like, it's all like connected in there, man. What's your thoughts on free popcorn refills in movies? People aren't going to like my take. I have a fucking Herculean appetite and zero self-control. And I have never in my life finished a bag of movie theater popcorn during a movie. I don't know what kind of state I would have to be in to not only finish the bag, but then be like, I want some more. Like usually by the time I'm like halfway through the bag, I'm like, I shouldn't even be eating it. And then I keep eating it for like another 10 minutes. But then I'm like, get it out of here, man. Do you have a brain deficiency? Yeah, you got a real superior brain, for sure. Eating fucking 3,400 calories of, of pure salt and simulated butter. Probably taking like 10 days off your lifespan. So what, you don't feel like you got ripped off by the concession prices? Can you do a, a, an analysis? Can you do a compare and contrast of that one? But I'd rather have 10 days of life, of health, seeing my family, enjoying the splendor of the world, or <laughs> twice as much fucking popcorn. Info, I've already eaten one day's worth of calories just in popcorn since I sat down in the chair 90 minutes ago. That's a tough one. That's, that's a tricky one. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. When I was 19, I would have given you a different answer for sure. I know you're like, no, 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 I'm not going to let the movie theater rip you off. Brother, they ripped you off the second you walked into the movie theater. They're selling you 80 cents worth of popcorn for 15 bucks. They basically just provide a chair and a screen. They didn't make the movie. They didn't even make the chair. They don't do anything. Okay? No, I, I like the movie theater. I like going. But there is no, like, you, you lose the second you, you buy into it. If that's the, the axis that you're trying to evaluate the purchase on, all they're doing, it's, it's like going to a fucking, pick a DJ that nobody likes. It's like going to a David Guetta concert. All he's doing is hit and play and then, you know, pretending he's working for the next 90 minutes. <laughs> saved, saved. <laughs> I love it because it's the magic of cinema. I mean, I'm with you, Jay. People are ready. I'm, I'm, I'm going off today, okay? We get it. You hate vegans. Number one joke that somebody can tell that immediately lets you know they're a Redditor. How do you know if someone's a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. This shit is like straight out of 2005. So true, I know my brother's wife is vegan and she's always saying, I can't have hamburgers, I'm vegan. Like she won't shut up about it. But I'm like, well, you're the one who came over to burger night. <laughs> She's always like, don't worry, I'll bring my own food so it's not a problem. And I'm like, it is a problem. I bought 64 burgers. We got eight people. Everybody's got to do their part. 
We're, we're vegans. Of course we bring samosas to Thanksgiving. I've done it before. Rose <laughs> shopping at the Minecraft grocery store. <laughs> oh, man. Dropping a 64-pack of, of cooked steak on the table at the potluck and then eating six carrots. The fucking particles are flying up. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I see more obnoxious carnivore bros than vegans. It's 100% true. You're telling no lies. So I, let me, just before we get started with the sponsor stream here, I apologize to the sponsor, but this is the kind of stuff that peeps, keeps people going. They love this stuff. I had a McDouble yesterday for lunch. I was getting spiritual with it. It actually, I'm, I'm not trying to get into anything, okay? The McDouble, the McDouble is 370 calories. It's almost a one-third, one-third, one-third split, protein, carbs, and fat. It's like a perfect lunch, bro. And then I Googled, McDouble perfect lunch and I found like a reddit thread from a subreddit I didn't even know about called fit meals or something like that and it was like does the McDouble qualify as a fit meal here's the macros and then people were talking about it and like a doctor came in and was like I think it does qualify as a fit meal based on all this and I was like yeah let's go bro I knew it he even said it could be a staple if you, if you have the right lifestyle. But then somebody else said, my go-to fit meal is I order three double cheeseburgers, throw out the buns and eat it. And again, I'm not trying to beef with this guy, okay? I'm just saying to me that doesn't pass the smell test for nutrition. I'm very holistic when it comes to my nutrition. I don't think eating six patties of beef could possibly be healthy. I understand what it says with like the macros and all that. And by throwing out the buns, you rid yourself of some simple carbohydrates. But I'm like, like, I don't think that I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't think God wanted you to eat that much beef in a single sitting. I think that's why he put the buns there is so that you could cut the beef with a little bit of flour. So you're not eating that much beef. I mean, like two patties. Sure. If you're eating two McDoubles, I'm not sure I would go there with you but i think you know you could live with it but three double cheeseburgers and then throw the buns out i don't know it just is like for me that's a heavy lunch bro <laughs> i don't want to offend anybody but yeah six six beef patties with cheese on top of each one is a little much for me bro it's only thursday what's for lunch today i gotta eat these uh tuscan white bean and kale soups that i got from costco Gotta? Yeah, because when I bought them, my wife said, you better eat these. I was probably going to have like a bagel sandwich today, but then she called my bluff. No, I do not scoop my bagels. I invented another trick for getting less calories out of a bagel if I wanted to be calorie restrictive. It's eating less bagel. That's why I was, I, I'm just going to say when I was on the, I found the subreddit that validated my idea that McDouble is a health food. People were saying McDouble, one McDouble isn't bad for you, but the problem is you can't eat just one. You'll still be hungry. I said, brother, eat one McDouble, revel in the spiritual enlightenment that you experience from eating a perfect sandwich. Go on with the rest of your day. You ever try exercising some self-control? Just eat one. These aren't Lay's potato chips. You've never done that? For lunch yesterday, I had one McDouble. I swear it to you. Didn't even get the combo. I got just the sandwich. Our McDonald's, my, my wife just got a, a cheeseburger. The cheeseburger, we redeemed points. I got a McDouble. The total McDonald's order was like, I don't even know, it was like $3.02 or something. <clears throat> That's a snack, not a meal. It's got two all beef patties, bro. What do you mean it's a snack? Are you a fucking Zeus? Oh my gosh, I think I recognize your voice. Are you Zeus? Yes, that's me. I'll give you your two McDoubles for free. I don't make the rules, by the way. I understand it's not fair. 370 calorie McDouble is not a snack. That's a meal. Eating 1,200 calories of chips 
out of the family size bag in one sitting, that's a snack. You can eat that and then eat dinner 15 minutes later. I don't, I didn't invent thermodynamics. You got to take that up with Isaac Newton. 150 calorie bowl of soup, meal. 500 calorie protein bar, snack. I wish I, I'm, not, I'm smart, but I'm, I'm not that smart. I'm not smart enough to tease apart like what is the delineating factor. But I'm just saying, you show me left Twix, right Twix, I'm identifying them every single time. I couldn't tell you how. I can't stop myself from eating a whole bag of lime Tostitos with hummus in the span of an hour, like twice a week. So Prezzo, you're the motherfucker that keeps validating their decision to release lime Tostitos. I didn't, I, I was always wondering what I would do when I met the guy who kept lime Tostitos in business. They're good. It literally tastes like someone sprinkled like Comet citrus flavored cleaner onto a tortilla chip. With the president's choice hummus? Okay. I mean, tortilla chip and hummus, I'm not against it. I'm a salsa guy myself, but. <coughs> I'm a multi-grain Tostitos guy. Not for health reasons. I just think it goes better with the multiple grain flour versus the, uh, just the yellow corn. I don't like the scoops very much. I do like the rounds okay. And I'll take a, a restaurant style as well. But I'm, I'm a, a multi-grain Tostitos guy given the choice. Scoops are great? Nah, man. It don't make sense. You don't need the gravity creates the scoop for you. Like the salsa stays on the chip because of yet another gift of Isaac Newton. You don't need the scoop. You turn it into like a, a, a gusher. Like when you you get like an eight to one salsa to tortilla chip ratio, bro. You need to have like a like a zero point seven to one. You don't need to fill them up? Why would you fucking buy it in the first place then? Why would you buy this scoop if you... <laughs> if you're not gonna fill it up? If you're just gonna have a normal amount of salsa, then you could just use a normal chip, bro! They didn't need to invent a new tortilla mold for this! You gotta... There's definitely some motherfuckers out there buying the scoops and then just eating them, right? That's crazy. Patrick Bateman be like... Personally, I... I know Tostitos are America's favorite tortilla chip, but I didn't really like the restaurant version. However, when they came out with Hint of Lime and Scoops in the early 2000s, I thought that's when they really hit their stride. I know a girl who has a level two bear. She's always overriding whatever food was there. She don't like garlic. She don't like cheese. She don't like lemon or any of these. She uses scampi for slippery chicken. Honey also works here. It makes more sense. Right. What the hell is this? It's early flaming lips. Boomer. <laughs>